everything, especially when it comes to dieting. And one of the top excuses you hear is that it's so expensive to diet. So today we're making a breakfast that costs under $2, that is high in protein, encourages fat loss, and keeps you feeling full for hours. Can't beat that. But first, let me go grab Rick. into the recipe we need to go over the progress pictures so if you want to go to the cost of the recipe you can go here to this timestamp or if you just want to get into the straight recipe you can go here all right so I will see you in a little bit everything's super tight here we got not much hanging off the sides we got a V taper we got the chest becoming more defined very similar to last week a lot of these things look the same with the front flex here we can see how tight the stomach is now there's just a complete and total difference on the picture on the left and this is five weeks guys from day one to now it's been exactly 35 days yes 35 days all right, not too much difference with my back, but you can tell below the lats that really everything has tightened up. All of my jeans and everything that's fitted just almost doesn't fit anymore at this point. I'm going to be 32, it's probably in about five to 10 pounds. Then we got the back flex. As you can see, everything looks good here. It looks about the same as last week. We've got our wings. We have a very little amount hanging off the side. That's about it. Let's move on. And now from the side, I'm actually seeing a difference when I'm posting these pictures. This one took the longest for me to notice a difference but now you can really see a lot more definition the stomach coming up and tightening up my butt's not as big which a butt is a lot of muscle or my butt is a lot of fat i'm sorry and my average weight loss from last week to this week is 206.3 down to 204.2 everything's moving exactly at that two pound pace and we are looking beautiful now let's get to the cost of all the items and the recipe itself before we get to cooking I am going to go over the ingredients because I know there's going to be naysayers that say there's no way that only cost you $2 or whatever. So I'm going to go through each thing and how much it costs me and also show you some images to really show you that it doesn't matter where you go, it's going to be around the same price. We're going to start with the Kodiak cakes. Kodiak cakes are protein pancakes. Once I found these, I ate these for like two weeks in a row. We're only using about three quarters of a serving and I think this is about $4.77 but when you break it down, it's $0.33. Cents. Then. We will move over to the eggs. 12 eggs cost you 65 cents, nothing. So we're using three egg whites. We're gonna separate the egg whites in a little bit here. And that cost you a total of 17 cents. Then we got good old sugar-free syrup. Now there's still calories in syrup, even if it's sugar-free. We're only making enough pancakes for a half serving of syrup. And you'll see why, a serving is a lot of syrup. Um, so that's only 12 cents there. The ham, $3 a pound, can't beat it. So we're using three ounces of ham. That comes out to 56 cents for those three ounces. And then we got our protein. Now this comes from bodybuilding.com. They have great tasting protein. You can't even tell the difference when you mix it into the pancake mix. And this is a 60 cents for a serving and we're using half a serving. So 30 cents for that. $4 for two pounds of shredded cheese. Now this is on sale, but that's what I do. I look for sales and I go to the store when it's on sale, I'll have this cheese for weeks. It only costs seven cents for half an ounce of cheese. Seven cents, okay. Cinnamon, I'm not even gonna count cinnamon, we're just putting some dashes in there for taste. And then a banana. I'm rounding up too for the banana. A pound costs 59 cents. This is less than half a pound and it runs you 30 cents. So when you add up everything, that is $1.85, $1.85. Now, even if you don't get it on sale, say you wanna to go to Walmart for everything, you don't wanna to go to different stores or you don't wanna look for sales, no problem. Guess what? Even with the differences in prices, it still only adds up to $2.23. So $1.85, $2.23, it's about 50 cents more, 40 cents more, but you could still get it for under $2.25. It is a steal to make your breakfast and you should be full for hours to come. And you'll see why coming up. This prep time and this cook time, it's under 15 minutes. As long as everything's warmed up, you're pretty much ready to go. It almost takes longer to warm it up than to prep it and to actually cook it. So let's get into it. I guess I should mention what we're making. We're making banana pancakes and we are making an 
egg white omelet with ham and cheese. I'm gonna start by crushing up the banana. What I do to get my calories is I have a food scale. A lot of people think food scales are super expensive. They're really not. You can get one for $15 or $16 shipped to your door, maybe even cheaper off Amazon. So I'm gonna weigh my banana out. Got three and a half ounces. So I'm gonna remember that to put into my fitness pal to tell you how many calories we have by the end of the meal. To match it up, I'm just gonna use a fork here. And I would do this before you put the pancake mix in. I feel like with the watery pancake mix and all that, that it would kind of mess you up a little bit to make it a little bit more dirty. And that's actually the worst part of this whole process and this whole recipe is that there's a lot of dishes to do at the end. But is what it is, you know, super cheap. So take your wins with your losses. There's a lot more wins than losses with this recipe. So I almost got this mashed up to the point that I'm okay adding in my pancake mix. Now, same thing with the pancake mix, you have to weigh it out. So really, I think there are two very important things when you're dieting, and one is a scale for your body that you weigh yourself every morning, and then the other is a kitchen scale because that's the only way to really know how many calories you're getting. People will just pour this in, pour some water in. People put a lot more cheese on their stuff than you think, and I was one of those people. So really, the best way to do it is to have a kitchen scale, and it's really not expensive. You can get a body scale that's very Really good and a kitchen scale for under 50 bucks and you can get a kitchen scale for 12 14 15 bucks so there's really no reason not to if you're committed to losing weight and it is a big goal of yours you will invest a little bit of money in it okay so let's get to it god damn it of course I spilled it on myself we are doing three quarters of a serving so we got about two ounces three quarters of two ounces is 28 plus 21 is 49 so we're gonna get 49 grams in here. Boom. Now, if you go a gram or two over, that's okay. There's a big difference between a gram or two over and when people don't know that they're using two servings or three servings when they think it's only one serving. Then we're gonna add our half serving of protein. So we're gonna have about 12, 13 grams of protein for only 65 calories. Beautiful, perfect half scoop. Now they call for, I think four ounces. I like to put a little bit less and then add little by little cause I don't want it too watery. Now you don't have to use water. You can use whatever you want. It's just gonna add calories if you use milk or almond milk or whatever you use, it's just gonna add a little more calories. I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck with calories, protein, fat, and start my day off when I have a lot of calories left at the end of the day, cause that's when I'm hungry. Like I said, whatever works for you. So let's beat it up. Like I said, guys, this is super simple, like unbelievably simple. See why I only added three ounces? Like this is still super watery and this is only three ounces of water. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and thicken up a little. And I am also going to let the stove heat up a little bit because I started it a little bit late. So I wanna kind of line everything up so everything's made at the same time so it's hot, fresh, and ready to eat. So we got our three eggs. You can buy egg whites if you want, but that's going to severely impact the cost of this meal. I would rather crack it and you kind of go back and forth between the two shells. Pour a little bit in there, pour a little bit in here. I do it about four, five, six times, unless there's one that's like hanging on, like this one, perfect example. I try to get that little piece off, and boom, that one's done. I don't mind taking the extra, you know, 20 seconds to go back and forth between the two shells to get all the egg white, rather than buying it and getting ripped off. And in these three egg whites, we only have 51 calories, which is another big point to drive home. Three egg whites, 51 calories, you're getting more food quantity to fill up your stomach and you're not getting as many calories. So one whole egg would have been 70 when you could have four egg whites if you really wanted to for 68 calories. So you get more mass, more stuff sitting in your stomach, you feel fuller. Three egg whites, 51 calories, good to go. So I get out the plate I'm gonna use and I put the ham and the cheddar on the same plate because I can measure them both at the same time. Much easier, three ounces, which is 84 grams. We're gonna weigh this out. All right, boom, 84 on the dot, perfect. So this is 90 calories right here, 15 grams of protein. Great source of protein, very little calories. If you're in a pinch and you're super hungry, if you had like mustard or something, you could just put a little mustard on there, max some ham, easy, to, good to go. I actually did it yesterday when I was super hungry. So 
It works out when you're in a bind. Now, look how much cheese is a half ounce of cheese, which is 50 calories or 55 calories. It's like nothing. All right, everything's weighed out. Everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna spray just a little bit of olive oil. It's about 10 calories. Four quarter seconds is about 10 calories because that's one second. That's ready. I'm gonna do the same thing in the pan. That's ready. So I'm gonna pour the eggs in the pan. My pan's set to about medium. I, I got on a 10 scale, it's a five. So there's that, you hear it sizzling, it's cooking. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. I get this carne asada, Lowry seasoning, super good. It's basically salt and some spice. So we're gonna add that. And quite literally, this tastes great, kind of like cake batter. I like the bowl clean. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let these cook. I'm gonna let the eggs cook and I will see you in a minute. All right, so this is ready to flip. We're gonna flip this bad boy. Beautiful. Forgot a little, add a little bit of habanero. Habanero. So we got a little bit of habanero powder. It has a great kick. Don't touch your skin after you use this. Like I would wash your hands because if you touch your skin, you are going to have it like burn for probably about an hour or so. Let's get our cheese on here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, kill him. All right, cheese is on. Let's add our meat. And you could use whatever meat you want. You don't have to use ham. This is what I had a taste for. I also got some chicken, but I have a taste for ham, so that's what we're gonna eat. Now, clearly you don't have to use this, this much ham either, or if you want that much ham and you like ham, you can just throw a couple back in your mouth, good to go. I like extra meat, typically extra cheese. Can't do it to afford my calories right now, but I like extra meat and extra cheese on pretty much everything that I get. So this is a good amount for me. Do it however you want, there are no rules. That's why I love Greg Doucette. There are no rules in this kitchen. That's ready. Let's flip it over. Yeah, we got a nice golden brown here. Oh, let's get them pancakes. All right, so these pancakes are a little bit hard to flip with the banana. So you gotta try to be super smooth about it. Or else you might rip it. So let's see if I can do this today. Whee! Got her. Ooh, I can smell the banana cooking too. That smells really good. Nice and soft, nice golden brown. So our pancakes are almost done cooking. Really quick, I'm gonna weigh out our syrup. 20 calories per serving. So if you wanna add a 10 extra calories, you will get over that 500 threshold. But like I said, it's up to you. What do you want? Do you want 100 calories now that you can save? 100 calories later? Cause you could add guacamole or other options as well. So it's really up to you how you wanna do it. If you like more syrup and wanna cover it in syrup, that's no problem. A quarter cup of this, like look how much syrup there is. So we got 500 calories on this plate. If you see this plate, it's really big. I have a really big dome piece, really big chest. Look how big this plate is. If this doesn't fill you up, you can add a pancake, you can add a couple more egg whites, just gonna add a little bit more calories, but we're only at 500 calories here. And the breakdown for this is nine fat, 52 carb, 52 protein. So you start out your day, 52 grams of protein. Some people like breakfast at night too. 52 carb, 52 protein, very little fat. Great way to start your day off. That's about it. Until next week, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in that next one. Do see.